Christy Nome had a little bit of a scuffle on Fox Business, my, my former network, with one of my former colleagues. I, I'm going to show you this because you need to see what went down. I think she actually handled it quite appropriately. But it's been a little challenging for her because she came out with a new book. And in the new book, she talks about the family dog who she uh, offed herself. And people are kind of worked up about it. Now, I, I, I see a lot of sides on this. And I do recognize that the mainstream media, ooh, you know what, they're out to get her. And they're going to make her look bad no matter what. I do wonder if nobody thought this through, right? Because you have to always, it's almost like you have to be a little paranoid. I hate it, but you do. You have to be a little bit paranoid because mainstream media is always, 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 always going to try and use anything and everything against you. So you have to see things through their eyes. Well, she wrote this very personal story about how she took out the family dog because the family dog was a problem and had eaten somebody's chickens and was a threat to the kids, et cetera, et cetera. And so that was it. That was the end of the family dog. And she did it herself and people are kind of upset about this. And so she's been on the media circuit promoting the book and everybody keeps asking her about this. So she's had to answer it 20 zillion times. So Stuart had the unfortunate bad luck of being like the 20 zillionth person to ask her about this. Like she did every interview she could before Stuart's. And so he asked her the question that everybody else has been asking her and she kind of nailed him. I want you to see it, watch. Workers, and it's just been incredible to see the amount of feedback and people that are moving to our state to take opportunity of those jobs and to live like we do in South Dakota. Do you still think that you are in line to be Trump's vice president? No, it's, up to, it's up to Donald Trump. He's the only person who will decide this. It's He's the president. only person who will decide. And I spoke, yes, I do speak to him. May I ask what yes. he said to you about yes. being no, vice president? No, I never, I never tell anybody my personal conversations Did with Did the dog story president come up Trump. in a conversation I with I talk Trump? to President Trump all the time. About the dog? About a lot of things. And right now, I tell you what, he is being persecuted in a political hunt, witch hunt in this court case. So I'm proud of him dog? about how tough he is and how well he is doing. Did you bring up yes, the dog? Yes, enough, with Trump. Stuward. With Trump. Did you this bring interview up the dog is with ridiculous, Trump? what you were doing right now. I don't so you so. need to stop. It is. Okay. It is. We'll Let's stop. talk about some real topics that Americans um, care about. I'm afraid we're out of time. Oh, well, of course we but are. We do thank you for being with us. Right. I know I pressed hard, but that's what people are talking about no. to this day. Yeah. Got to know? Thanks for joining us. Thank we you. appreciate it. We'll be back in just a moment with the opening bell. Ooh, ouch, 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 ouch. He was trying to be tactful. I get it. He wants ratings. I get it. And he wanted to get an answer on that question. I get it. But there are other issues. And maybe he should have thrown her a little bit of a bone, maybe, and said, okay, just stay with us to the next break because we'll get to some of those things. But no, he was going after that one thing pretty doggedly. Ha <laughs> ha. No pun intended, or perhaps. Um, so, Governor Noem, is she still in the mix? I think so. But here's what you should know. I don't think Donald Trump is sitting there saying, I got to have a woman. I got to have an African-American man. I got to have an Asian. I mean, like, he, he doesn't really care. He's just sort of like, who's going to help me get to the finish line? I think he thinks he can get there himself, and he probably can, to the finish line. But who's going to be an asset? Who's going to help build me up, not who's going to bring me down? And so in some ways, if you're thinking about this intelligently, I think you think about it in a way where you kind of want to be the wallflower in the background, the J.D. Vances of the world, right? Just kind of quietly on the side. That was one of the things that I think helped Mike Pence. I remember thinking when Mike Pence's hat was in the ring, he would be a good vice president because I know him. I've, I've sat next to him at dinners over the years. I, I'm sure his wife was there. Right? <laughs> I remember being at a dinner for my former colleague, Larry Kudlow, who was part of Trump's economic team and actually on that same network that Stuart is now. And it, it was sort of a goodbye party because he was leaving CNBC. And I was seated at a table with Mike Pence. And I liked him. Really, really nice guy. I still like him, really nice guy. I think sometimes a little misguided. I mean, Tucker just eviscerated him, right? Remember in that interview, I think perhaps he wasn't listening. And it's kind of sometimes the trap that politicians fall into where they have their talking points, their talking points, their talking points, and they don't actually listen to the question. And by the way, they don't answer the question, even if they do. When you look at that Christy Nome thing, she wasn't answering his question. He said, hey, do you talk to the president about the dog? I mean, she could have laughed. She could have like given some kind of something. But politicians don't answer the questions. If anything, it's part of what 
caught Donald Trump in so much trouble over the years. He always answered the question, and it often got him in trouble. I mean, you weren't supposed to say that maybe in March 2020, he actually said this in May 2020, that uh, that virus could have possibly come from a Wuhan lab, right? No-go territory. You were not allowed to talk about that. But somebody asked, and he answered the question with straightforward information saying, yes, I've seen intelligence to exactly that. Turns out now, everybody at the CIA, the CIA is still divided on this one, but every other three-letter agency says, yep, that thing came out of that lab in Wuhan, China. Anyway, Mike Pence, very scripted, but I thought, you know, like, he'll work. He'll work as a vice president. I, I'm going to tell you now, like, I called that one then. I'm not going to call it just yet. I'm not going to call it. But I'm going to tell you to watch J.D. Vance. I think that he is very much in the running. And uh, I'm sorry to, to Christy and the unfortunate dog thing. And I'm sorry that the media gets carried away with that. Even, even the conservative media, you can see, gets a little carried away with that. One, one way that, that I think one of the, the folks over on Newsmax put it was perhaps, perhaps a, a liberal writer had written her book. They're trying to figure this out. Like, why did nobody see this? Maybe somebody actually really wanted to do her in. And she said, no, 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 no. I take full responsibility for that story. That was my story. So um, where are those advisors when you need them? knowing that the vultures are out there ready to get you at any given moment, right guys?